Today's 1989Batman.com slash actionfeatures.net merchandise spotlight toy talk review is on the Batman Returns deep dive action figure from Kenner. Here we go with the carded figure from the front as usual. We got this great artwork of deep dive Batman soaring through the waters. And, hang on, soaring? Maybe just, I don't know, going through the waters? I'm sorry if you're hearing a bunch of background noise too. The kids are playing games in the other room, so... Um, Sorry if there's background noise. Anyway, so we've got the image up front. We've got with launching tor torpedo launching Scooby gear. And this great carded figure down below where it's really kind of crammed everything into that packaging. Uh, back of the box features... Oops, stay. Uh, instructions on how to work your Deep Dive Batman. Deep Dive Batman logo-y type stuff there. And a bunch of other figures from the line as usual. Um, there he is one more time. Well, look out now. There he is, one more time, carded, if he'll stay upright. One more time, carded from the front, before we take a look at the loose version. Here we go, with Deep Dive Batman, all out of the package. Lots of stuff going on here. Uh, first of all, he has this, like, mini sub thing, vehicle, which is crazy for a packaged figure. Um, it's quite large. It's just one kind of piece, except for this missile, which, oh, shoots out of there. Over the side. Then we've got Batman with all these extra pieces that have been put on him. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. He's got these leg pieces that are removable. We'll go ahead and take those off. Put them off to the side. And then this chest piece, which has the breathing tanks and all that stuff for him to go underwater. And that's all just clipped on with the clips along the shoulders and one along the waist. And that gets him down to your standard basic Dark Knight Collection Batman figure. I'm going to drop this down just a little bit. There we go. Uh, here he is from the front. We can see that there's a little detailing here and there for his sort of wetsuit type look. There's a bat symbol on this shoulder and some more design work on this shoulder. His back is kind of plain. There's no design work back there. But along the legs there is some as well. I should have just moved his arm up. There we go. Um, if you want to see still pictures of this, there will be a link in the info section if you're watching this on YouTube to still pictures. But for now, we're going to grab up Deep Dive Batman, sail on over the couch, and do the review. My dear Penguin Commandos, the time has come to punish Batman! Batman? Deep Dive Batman surfaces. Fire! Tearing into battle, Batman blasts his torpedo. Penguins all wet. Gotham City's greatest hero, Batman Returns. Hey everybody, welcome to another 1989Batman.com Merchandise Spotlight, Toy Talk Review for ActionFeatures.net. You know the drill, it's all there. There you go. As you can see by the opening sequence, we're taking a look at the Batman Returns Deep Dive Batman. This is one of my favorites. That's why I picked this one. You didn't even know we were doing this one today. No, I didn't. Um, I picked this one because I remember you saying you like this Batman so much. And I like this Batman too. And this is one of the Batmans that offers the most bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is crazy what this comes with. Um, as the pa the packaging, as you can see, we've got the same standard art type I love thing. the artwork that they put on oh, the package. Oh, it's so cool. And this one is Especially awesome. This one. The bubbles and the water and just the movement and the energy of this drawing, right. it makes you want to buy this figure. Like, back in the day, I didn't have this figure, but I remember seeing this on the shelf and going, that is so cool looking. Right. Um, it's got the logo and it talks about it has a torpedo launching scuba gear. You got your figure down here and the bubble is really being used to its fullest for all this stuff. Right. You've got the instructions on the back, more figures in the line, you know the drill. Alright, so there's a lot to talk about on this one, um, because he comes with so much stuff. So I think we're actually going to start with the figure first this time, and then move on to the accessories, just because there's so much there to deal with. Um, the figure itself is, and it's, it's going to seem like a crazy color, and it is a crazy color, but it makes sense. And you're going to find out why. He's bright yellow. He's got black highlighting, and then some black detailing here and there in the outfit, which including this cool black Batman logo on this uh, on his left shoulder. That. It's really neat. And this black striping down the pants, all that stuff. And he's got like these water waves and little notations and things like that, and the standard gold logo. Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to look like a wetsuit. Don't do that. Okay. Um, it's supposed to look like a wetsuit, um, and that's why it has this coloring. Because mm -hmm. wetsuits and stuff like that in the 90s and had this kind of crazy bright coloring going on. And wetsuits just kind of have that color. I don't know why wetsuits have bright colors a lot of times, but they do. And so that's why he's in this kind of thing is because it's supposed to look like a wetsuit. Mm -hmm. So even though it's a crazy color, it's a crazy color that makes sense this time. Now, 
He has the standard five points of articulation, same sculpt as always, so there's nothing new there. But there's a ton of new accessory type stuff. And I got it. Oh man, I got it. Okay. Um, let's make sure I put them all on there right. He comes with first of all these little clips that go onto his legs, and they've got like little fin things or something like that, and they just clip on to the outsides of the boots, and they just are on there. But I think it's cool. I think it's neat looking. And it's, it's, I guess, supposed to be like so he can swim faster, or cut through the water, or steering directional things. Who knows? And then he comes with what Blaze and I agree. I love that accessory. It's one favorite, of the coolest it's accessories. It's my favorite accessory of the whole. It's awesome. It it's really, just... really awesome. Mm -hmm. I keep dropping those clips. Um, it's a gas mask slash rebreather slash air thing, whatever you want to call it. I keep dropping. I'm yeah. going to take them off for now. Um, it clips on around him, it clips around the waist and over the shoulders, mm -hmm. and it goes right up to the mouth. Your eyes okay, man? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's got two, like, air tanks sculpted in the front, and it goes up right to the mouth, so it looks like he's got on this breathing apparatus. Mm -hmm. And it's cast in black plastic, which is awesome. Like, Blaze is saying, it can be used for other figures, like Crime Attack or something it like that. It can be used for, like, any of your normal Batman. Movies. Yeah, and it's just, especially the black ones, though, right. it just blends in completely. So it just looks like gear Batman is wearing. Right. This is a cool, cool accessory on its own, but it's not really the highlight of the whole thing. Well, here's the thing. It would be kind of cool if like, this part was kind of cut off, then they raised the bat and made it bigger. It would it's make a... like a good Batman Returns type armor. Yeah, we kind of would. You're right. If like, they raised it and then didn't have the gas yeah. mask part. But that, uh, again, though, that's not even the highlight of the whole set. Mm -hmm. This is the highlight of the whole set. It's almost a vehicle. I know. It's so it's, cool. It's this, this uh, scuba... Sub thing. It's got uh, a firing missile that it includes that sits in the front. It's got a yellow bat logo. And Batman just kind of gets inside here. You put him in this way. And then it's got two hand rests that he just kind of clips his hands it's into. It's awesome. It is awesome. And then those feet things will be back here that be to provide like direction or whatever. And it's basically a small vehicle for the price of a carded figure. I know, it's awesome. And it's got a lot of sculpted detail on it. It's just really, really cool. Mm -hmm. What do you guys? What do you guys say about it? What do you guys want to say about this thing? I actually have something to say about all of the crazy outfits, but I can't say it right now. Why can't you? Oh yeah, Keaton hasn't seen Batman Returns. Right. Well, we'll save that for another time when when we're doing a Batman. It can really work for any of the figures. Yeah, and we'll just any, any Batman right. Returns review we do. But I wanted to say something about this. Video. Yeah. yeah, I really kind of love this vehicle because they made sort of a lot in the Batman um, animated series and the Batman, not really as much as the Batman movie figures, but they have like a lot of things that can just kind of flow on top of water and you can get this one for so much cheaper than oh, one. Oh, it's crazy, dude. I, know. I mean, you can get this figure for like 10, 15 bucks and that means it's you're getting awesome. a figure and a vehicle. Right. You can't touch and that the, nowadays. The gas and, 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 type and, thing. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi, I'm buddy. trying to put stickers on you. <laughs> There's a sticker Hi, on Keaton. the back. Hi, Keaton. I don't know if um, Keaton, we told Keaton was back there this time around or not. But Keaton's um, back there and he's putting stickers on the back of my neck. Uh, which means, to me, is a good signal to probably wrap this one up, right? Yep. Deep Dive Batman is one of the coolest figures in the line. It is. Easily one of the best values. Crazy, so. Exactly. It comes with so many cool accessories. Uh, mm -hmm. Even if you just got the figure and didn't even want the yellow Batman, it's worth it just for these accessories, right. that gas mask thing, and this boat. You can put Crime Attack Batman on this stuff, and it's just really cool looking. Right. Um, I can't believe that Kenner managed to pack all this into a, a standard regular figure. And it's the price of one. It could be so much more expensive. Than yeah, it, it could be, but they didn't. They just made it a standard figure. Mm -hmm. If you want to check out pictures of this, if you're watching it on YouTube, hit the info section. It'll take you to link to 1989batman.com, where we'll have uh, pictures of the figure to go with it as well. Um, so is that it for this one? I guess. All right, we're going to wrap it up, and we'll see you guys next time.